Hello again, YouTube. I am back with a second haul video for today. I may not post these on the same day, but I'm wearing the same Halloween shirt because it is Halloween. So, uh, even if I don't post them on the same day, you know that it was the same day. <laughs> As I mentioned in my first video, I did two trips to Goodwill today. Hit one store, then I hit the other. Um, I was in one store for three hours. I already did that video. <laughs> this store I was only in for about an hour. So, I got some pretty good deals though. I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I spent $86 altogether. Um, I rounded the change up, so it's $86 even. But I got, uh, I think it was 32 items, 34 items, somewhere in that range. So I spent average about $3, $3 an item, $3 to $4 an item is what I like to shoot for. Even if I spend a dollar on one, but $6 on another, I like to cost average and average about three to four. It makes me feel better, <laughs> but I still put in my records that each item, what they were purchased for and what I actually sold it for. So technically for tax time, I do, you know, put in what I paid for it, but mentally, I like to tell myself that I average three dollars an item when I'm willing when I'm going and uh, someone sends me an offer on an item and they say, you know, will you take fourteen dollars for that dress? Usually, I mentally remember what I pay for most trips. Um, I'm not crazy. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna get into my haul. I already gave you guys the rundown on my last video. My Goodwills are a um, like category price so like all dresses are $7.49 all long sleeve tops are $5.49 short sleeves are $4.49 sleeveless is $2.29 shoes are all $4 you get the idea I'll try and kind of tell you about what I spent on each item as I go and what I hope to get for it um, the comps are kind of zoomed through in eBay and uh, Goodwill today with at this store so hopefully I'll be able to remember what I might be able to get for some of these items. We'll find out. If I'm ever wrong, please put, tell me in the comment section. It'll help me tremendously with my research if I am telling you one thing here and you know, during a while I'm not getting at something or I'm gonna get twice as much as I think I will, list it higher and try it out kind of thing. Please let me know, that would be great. Also, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, if you haven't didn't subscribe since my last video, so you could easily find this one, subscribe to my channel, like this video so I know what kind of content you guys like. If you like hauls or just um, how to's, tips, tricks, uh, walkthroughs in the store, see what I've grabbed and what I pass out, please let me know what you like and I'll be happy to try to deliver that kind of content. Um, Today, my Goodwill stores were pretty busy. Again, it's Halloween, so a lot of people were last minute shopping. So it was moderately crowded, but like too much to really record. I didn't have the store to myself, I'll put it that way. Um, so yeah, and I didn't have a lot of time to just sit and record and record. I wanted to focus, get in, get out, that kind of thing. So sorry I didn't do a walkthrough with you guys. I'll do one one day soon. Tell me in the comments if you do want walkthroughs though. I'll be happy to do them. Just kind of see where my logic and my thought process comes and goes when I'm at the store. Okay, so much rambling. I apologize. I'm just going to get to this haul and you'll see if we can get through it pretty quickly. I already put everything in a tub. So as you see, it's just one tub worth of stuff. Um, I'm just going to get on at it. Okay, so the color of the week was at this store blue. So everything it was purple at one store and blue at another store. Go figure. But um, I went through the dresses. I always go try to go through the dresses. Pretty like every single dress. Tops, I just peruse. Pants, shorts, just kind of peruse looking for crazy prints or styles that I know. Um, but dresses, I look through all of them because they're easy to sell. They usually sell pretty well. And I like dresses. It's easy to toss it on a mannequin, pull her off, measure it, and go. Yeah, you can't really go too wrong with dresses. <laughs> um, okay. Huh, Soma. <laughs> so here we go. Really real this time. Soma. It's just a cute little maxi dress. It's a size small. But I like the print. You can see like the pink floral part is, you know, just kind of not asymmetrical, but draping, drooping. Does that make sense? Um, I paid $7.49 for it. I don't like paying full price for dresses, but I know the brand. It's a cute color. I sacrificed. <laughs> I paid $7.49 for it. I hope to get about 20 to 25 We'll see. Uh, shoes, Born, Born Concepts, B-O-R-N. Are you familiar with it? <laughs> just cute little green, has a flower on the top, leather. The bottoms look great. They look like they may have been worn once, if that. The bottoms, the heels look absolutely perfect. Um, trying to move into a, where you can like see them with a good contrasting background. It's not going very well, <laughs> but pretty little blue 
like a green, blue, aqua, turquoise <laughs> flower. Um, they were uh, $4 and comps were kind of all over the place. I couldn't find any just like them. Um, I'm guessing maybe 20 to 25 though. It's a cute color, good season for it. Clark's Springers. I'm not gonna unstrap the Velcros. It's just, it's kind of out of season, but it's just a basic little leather shoe. But the bottoms look almost brand new. The insides look great. They could use a little wiping down. It's just dirt more than anything. Um, I paid four dollars for them, and I hope to get maybe twenty ish for them. We'll find out there. We'll see. But they looked in really good condition. I grabbed them. I don't know. Impulse buy. <laughs> um, truly. T-R-U-L-L-I. The brand looked okay on comps, but I like the dress itself. It is kind of the hourglass shape, good for career dress, slimming, that kind of thing. It has nice beading work at the top. It's a size four, so it's a nice average moderate size. Um, I thought the color of the week at first was green, so I started grabbing green dresses, and someone told me, no, it's not green, it's blue. I spent half of the store trying to figure out what the color was. Then someone told me the wrong color and then I get to check out and it's this other color. I'm like, well, about half of the dresses I got are uh, full price. Half the dresses I got are half off. So I guess it evened out. I got plenty of green and plenty of blue. So yeah, rambling again, but you get the idea. Um, so I paid full price of $7.49. I don't know what I'm going to get for it. I already forgot. <laughs> uh, the Hawaiian Original High Low Hattie. Just a cute little navy blue Hawaiian sundress. Super, super cute. Um, comps looked in the 15 to $20 range easily. This one uh, was half off, so I paid $347, $374 for it. Um, eh, we'll see if I can get like $20, $25 maybe for it. It's out of season, but I'll price it high, and if I need to wait for the spring for it to sell full price, I'm fine with that. Not a problem whatsoever. Um, what are you? You are Sage, S-A-G-E. Just a cute little sundress. Again, it's not necessarily in season, but I'll wait till the season comes for it to sell for full price. I'll price it accordingly. I don't want to lowball it just to get rid of it quickly. Um, it is, what color are you? Green. So again, I thought it was half off. It wasn't. <laughs> Paid $7.49 for it, unfortunately. But hopefully, maybe the $20 range, we'll find out. You are Ann Taylor. Um, just a cute little career dress that has a cool little like cowl neck across the top. I liked it. Almost like a tweed kind of material, but like not. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Um, I paid $3.49 for it. And I'm hoping to get about $20 to $25 for it. It's just a cute little career dress. It will sell. It'll look good on the mannequin too. <laughs> That's what I sometimes try to like think is how will it look on the mannequin? Um, Fanini <laughs> reminds me of Feeny from Boy Me 12. Feeny, 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 Um, Just a cute little, can you see that? Little patchwork blue dress. It was pretty. Um, I looked up comps in the store. They're selling consistently in the $25 and up range. I paid $3.49 for it. It's cute. It's moderately in season. I know it's long sleeves and it's maxi, so we'll see what I can get for it. Uh, double three. I'm not familiar with the brand, but it was a cute little dress top jacket thing. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It's small. It's itty bitty, bitty small sequins. It's bright. It is loud. It is happy. It is everything you wish you could be. Um, double three is the brand, but does it have a size? That is the question. Um, no size tag. Well, darn but it's like a size one it's tiny maybe a three i don't know i'll put it on the mannequin and say you know here's the measurements here's the mannequin my mannequin is a size six take with it as you will i paid three dollars and 49 cents for it um uh, comps actually i looked at the comps while i was in the store and they're selling around the 20 to 25 dollar range it's loud and shiny hopefully mine will bring in a little bit more probably not probably a little bit less because it's so loud and shiny but i was in a good mood <laughs> we'll try this is Plastic Island. Cute, cute, cute little bubble blosen dress. 
I love this dress. <laughs> it is black and white plaid, just the right season for this cute little sucker. Little black straps at the top. I love it. It's like a wool material. I love this dress. I paid $3.49 for it, and hopefully I'll get $20 to $25. This is Columbia Prana. Prana is an off-brand of Columbia. Um, cute little maxi dress. If I can get it <laughs> unfolded. <laughs> um, just a cute little halter maxi <laughs> dress, if you can see it. I love the brand. Prana pretty much does really well for me. Um, I paid... Look, what did I pay for you? $3.49. And yeah, hopefully I'll sell it in the $25 up range. Hopefully more, but it's kind of borderline on the season, so be realistic here. Sangria, S-A-N-G-R-I-A, just another dress. Again, I like dresses. Um, if you couldn't tell, I spent most of my time in the dress section. Just a pretty little sheath dress. It was cute. I paid a $3.49 for it. I may get like 25-ish for it, I think. Um, Betsy Johnson, yeah, Betsy Johnson, just a cute little pajama, cotton kind of top, little nightgown kind of deal. Um, I paid $2.29 for it. It was cute, I grabbed it. It may sell for $15, but it's $15 from two. I'm okay with that. We the free, free people. I paid $3.49 for it, just a long, little top, but the back was really pretty. The little crochet detail, I like that. So it was the main reason I grabbed it, but the uh, top itself is super high slits. <laughs> the slits come up to, you can see the slit and the top of the shirt, really, really high slit, but it'll be cute with like leggings and boots. It'll work with cowgirl boots, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, <laughs> but like $20, I feel like is reasonable. You are, Beauties, B-E-A-U-T-E-E-S, Beauties. This is a pretty little green blouse. Some will call it a blouse, some will call it a little teeny tiny dress. It's a size 14, so it's girls. So, dress. That's cute, just a little sage green kind of deal. Um, I paid $2 for it. I'm throwing stuff everywhere. I paid $2 for it. I may get 15 to 20. I'm okay with that. $15 even is reasonable. Um, Kate Spade, New York, dream a little dream, just a pajama top. I didn't have the bottoms, but sometimes people do just want the tops because they have the bottoms and never bought the top at the right time, blah, 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 blah. Cute little just silky keys. Yeah, it's a top. I paid $1.29 for it. Yeah, good brand, cute top, good condition. We'll see, maybe 10 or 15, maybe more. I didn't look up comps, I just grabbed the brand. Yeah, I just won my gut there. <laughs> uh, tell me in the comments if I'm an idiot, please. Ben Hagen, Ben Hogan, Ben Hagen, Ben Hogan. Just little navy dress pants. Um, I kind of glanced at the comps. They were in between the dresses, so I'm gonna put them back. I grabbed in the quality, it's great quality. I looked at the comps and comps were kind of all over the place. Uh, 15 to 20, 25, 30 yeah so i grabbed them um, i paid 349 for them and if i get 20 bucks for them i'm happy anything more even better um what are these oh these were free <laughs> yeah these were free okay so um i got a bag of clothes from a friend she's like you want to sell these on ebay I'm like, yeah sure do so the rest of this bucket is free that's the end of the haul this is free and then we'll pick up from there american eagles pink shorts. They're free. I may get 10 to $15 for them, maybe. Um, Levi's, yeah, Levi's 5'11s, 30-30s, a teeny tiny size, but just a uh, slate gray kind of color. I may get 15 for them. We'll see. No more dress pant than anything. Banana Republic, the 3130s, so again, small and short. Uh, they are just standard little slacks. I may get 15 bucks for them, uh, but they're free, so I don't care. Express, Express doesn't really do too well for me. Um, they're like a wool knit, thick, thick, thick kind of trouser pants. Um, again, small and short. <laughs> I may get $15 for them. And who are you? You are uh, Van Heusen. Mm, don't really like the brand. I may not even sell these because Van Heusen is like, eh. But free money is free money. If they sell for 10 bucks, 
is free money. So yeah, that was pretty much the end of my haul guys. Like I said, it was pretty short, pretty simple, <laughs> a lot faster than the last haul went. Um, these last little bits of pants, they were free. So don't judge me on the brands. <laughs> and then uh, the rest of this group, it's pretty much all dresses. Yeah. <laughs> Told you I went in quick, got out quick and uh, tried not to spend too much money, but I think I did okay. I did all right. I'm just gonna kind of ramble while I'll put everything back in the bucket here. How do you guys think, how do you guys think I did? Did I do okay? Did I do good? Am I way off base on some of my prices? Do you think I can get more or less for anything? Please let me know in the comments. Any little bit helps. Less research time is always, always a good thing. You're here anyways. I know you want to comment. I know it's driving you crazy. Uh, but please like this video. Like I said, if you like this type of video, uh, so I know what kind of videos to make in the future, subscribe to my channel. That would be fabulous. You see more content of wonderful me. And <laughs> yeah, um, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Get listing. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys.